and welcome to my channel. I'm Little Mama Liv. Um, I just want to introduce myself, which actually seems really silly because I know that probably only about three people are watching this, including my mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just go ahead. Um, I'm Olivia. I'm 27 years old and I am 20 weeks pregnant with my first child. I'm 20 weeks today, actually. Um, and some people are probably thinking, why have I started a YouTube channel? Um, because I really, really wanted to document my pregnancy more just for myself, but I thought it'd be fun to share it with everyone. And also, um, I've, it sounds weird, but I've wanted to be like a mum vlogger since before I was pregnant. I mean, I wanted, I've wanted to be a mum for a long time before I got pregnant. Um, and I just always thought that that would be really fun. I'm quite a creative person. I'm quite a performative person and I thought those two things go really well together. I also work in social media so I thought it was a fun way to play around with my skills a bit. Um, yeah and also I'm kind of really bored <laughs> at the moment. Um, so we're in the middle of lockdown at the moment during the corona pandemic. Um, I really don't want to talk about that much in my videos because um, one I don't want to and that's <laughs> that's not me being in denial or anything, I just want to make this like a positive space to talk about things rather than somewhere to bring things down and be negative when there's so much negativity going on at the moment. And um, also when I look back at this, I don't want it to define my entire pregnancy. Um, it has been such a huge part of it. Um, and I know that I will always remember that as part of my pregnancy, but I don't want it to be the biggest thing about it because there are so many other things and so many nice things about it that are nothing to do with the fact that I am in lockdown at the moment. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, to start off, I thought it'd be fun just to do five facts about myself. Again, kind of silly because the most of the people watching this already know them, but yeah, let's go with it. So fact number one. Um, the reason I called this channel Little Mama Live is because I am actually under five foot tall. I am four foot eleven, which is really quite small. Um, I've always been small. I think I stopped growing when I was about twelve, I'd say. In fact, um, I went in M&S once and they had like one of those height charts that tells you what age of, I think it was school clothes that your height correlates with, and it said I was 12, so <laughs> and I think I was actually like 25 at the time, but yeah, I'm pretty small. Um, I also chose the channel name because I think uh, Little Mama Live kind of sounds like Mama Roo, and which brings us to my next fact, fact number two, I'm obsessed with drag queens, like RuPaul's Drag Race is my favourite programme of all time, um, I love it, I'm obsessed with it, I'm obsessed with loads of different aspects of drag as well, not just drag race. I've gone fully insane with it. Um, I love it. I was, I was going to tell you my favourite drag queen, but I can't because I can't decide. Um, <laughs> and it's an ongoing thing that like none of my friends really like drag that much. Um, and so it's just essentially a conversation I have with myself. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I post about it a lot. And... Nobody ever knows what I'm talking about, but hey, I'm having fun. Um, so my third fact is a really random one, but um, my great granddad invented the dice popper thingy in the middle of the frustration board game. You know how there's like a little bubble in the middle and you press it and the, the dice rolls for you? He invented that. Um, <laughs> so um, we didn't get any royalties from it or anything, but that's just a fun thing. He was an engineer and yeah, he invented a dice popper that now loads of people use. Um, I've actually seen loads of people during the lockdown playing frustration and putting photos of it and stuff. And it's quite funny because like, yeah, my granddad invented that. Great granddad. So yeah. <laughs> um, so the, what fact are we on? Four. <laughs> fact four. It's going well to start with. Fact about me is um, that I have never broken a bone or been stung by a bee and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that A. I don't go outside ever like I'm not an outdoorsy person at all 
I'm also not very adventurous at all. Like, my dream holiday is just sitting on a beach doing absolutely nothing in the sun. Um, I know a lot of people like, like, rock climbing and going on hikes and stuff. Worst nightmare, would never do it. And I'm scared of everything as well, so, like, scared of bees. So that's probably why I've never been stung by one, because I keep well aware. Um, and, yeah, um, I know every time I say that, every time I'm like, I've never been stung by a bee or broken a bone. I feel like I'm jinxing myself and I'm going to, like, in the next ten minutes, but fingers crossed, hopefully not. Um, my fifth and final fact is that I actually suffer with a condition called ME, also known as CFS, which stands for Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, which is why I tend to actually go by um, CFS with it, because it's easier to explain and understand. It's um, a condition I've had for a few years now. Um, it's possible that I've actually had it for a very long time, it's just I've only had the diagnosis in the past couple of years. Um, but essentially it means that I get very tired easily. Um, I can feel quite sick and down, and um, if I exercise or exert myself a lot, so if I go on like a long walk or something, I can make myself really poorly. And how I describe it is it's like a hangover. So like, if I walk really far, the next day I'll feel absolutely awful, I'll have a headache, I'll feel sick, I won't be able to get out of bed. Um, I want to talk about that as a whole, in a whole separate video, I think, because that would be really helpful for people who also have the condition. I'm definitely on the mild spectrum of it at the moment. Um, I can get out and about, well I mean not at the moment because of the lockdown, but I can get out and about. Um, I can do a bit of exercise, I can do yoga. Um, but yeah, I'll do a whole separate video on this at some point. Um, but that's it for now. So um, that was five really random facts. I'm very aware of that. That was like really personal stuff and then really, really random stupid stuff. But that was all I could come up with. So yeah, um, tune in again because I'm going to be doing a couple of videos. I might as well. I have the time. Um, and I'm going to be having my 20 week scan on Friday. So that's probably what I'm gonna do soon is like a little update on that um, and yeah so hope to see you again